Exhaust fan on, check. Three feet of hard extruded rubber, checked. Backed by half inch AR500 steel plate, check. Howdy folks, it's Nito with AP2020 Outdoors. Do not try this at home. Weapon hot. <laughs> All right. Howdy, folks. It's Nito with AP 2020 Outdoors. First off, check it out. Support the Second Amendment. That's right. I don't know if you can see that logo. Got my new AP 2020 Outdoors merchandise. Just came in the mail yesterday. Pretty excited. Remember. YouTube is going to demonetize this video, so to help supplement my channel, would you please go to the video link description below, click on it, Ballistic App, check it out. These are awesome products, I don't know if you can see their side logo, yes sir, USA baby. Anyways, this morning, you know I just had a little revelation, I got my high point 1095 TS carbine, 10 millimeter. I've got a bunch of 40 SNW ammunition, and you know what? 40 SNW, everybody's like, ah, oh, 40 SNW is no longer relevant. Well, I'll tell you how it is relevant. The ammunition is dirt cheap, and you know what? I just shot five rounds really nicely out of this rifle. It was the Lehigh Defense 115 grain. The Published velocity on the box is 1,350 feet per second. I got 1,633 feet per second, folks. Unbelievable. I think I found out the secret, how they're getting such higher velocities in the carbine. Anyways, that's for another video. I'm going to do some reloading in the future. The crux of this video, I've got the Endo Snake bore scope. Let's go ahead and look at the barrel. I haven't cleaned it since I got the carbine. I've got probably a little bit over 100 rounds through it. Alright folks, I have the 8mm Endo Snake Bore Scope. This is, uh, I think, 0 0.318. We'll go ahead and start recording. Now I like to, uh, I put a little fiber optic uh, probe in the breech end. And I got a flashlight that I can vary the intensity. That's pretty cool. There's the chamber end of the 10mm carbine. Well, I wonder how many grooves that is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Interesting. Kind of cool perspective of the barrel, eh? For my Canadian friends, hey. Like I said, I haven't cleaned it yet. I'll go ahead and uh, clean it, and we'll see what it looks like afterwards. Just real quick, at the beginning of the video, I was actually using, the last video I had the Call Valley Precision. This is the XL Magnum pistol caliber linear compensator, and this is just a standard XL. You can see it's a little bit smaller in diameter. I'm going to start shooting with this for a little bit, see how it goes. Okay, folks, I just uh, got done cleaning the barrel. We'll get the camera Phi 2 recording going here. So you can see, if it looks kind of shiny, it's because I purposely left a wet patch of the Pro Shot solvent in there. But you can see, you know, a lot of folks are really super concerned about, oh my gosh, look how rough that barrel is. But you know what, this carbine, I am shooting one whole groups up to 50 yards with the Lehigh Defense 115 grain Extreme Defense bullet which is insane if you think about it. I mean, folks are like, high point, really? Yes, high point, really. <laughs> so anyways, let's uh, back out here. Looking pretty good. Let's try to bury that light level there. Coming out of the muzzle here. Pretty cool. All right, let me stop the recording. All right, folks, it's Nito with AP 2020 Outdoors. Remember, Support the Second Amendment. And once again, please go to my Ballistic Inc. store and get some AP 2020 merchandise. It's a sweet hat. Got the logo. 
and of course Uncle Sam. Alright folks, we'll see you later. Thank you.